This could be the number one problem for people in print on demand. Where should you design your t-shirts? We just, we have so many different options and places and tools to design our t-shirt and sometimes it gets really confusing. Some are free, some are paid, some are super complicated and we have so many available to us, it's just hard to pick one. So in this video, I wanna compare six of the most popular print on demand t-shirt designers that are out there. You've got Photoshop, you have Canva, Placeit, Vexels, Affinity Designer, and Illustrator. We're gonna base this comparison on four categories, and I feel that these categories resonate best with print on demand. Price, ease of use, stock imagery, and power. We're gonna give each tool points from one to six for each category. This should be a really, really fun video, and I'm really excited to do it. I should have done it ages ago, but look, if you use any of these six tools already, smash the like button so that I know that other people are using these tools, and let's just, let's just dive right in. These are the six tools, and I'm gonna go into each tool in a bit more detail near the end of this video, so definitely stick around till the end so you can see exactly which tool I feel wins when it comes to print on demand. Part one is price, and this is simply put, which tool offers the best price. So the first one is Affinity Designer and that gets six points because that costs 49 pounds, which is about $60. And that is a one-time fee. And that's why it wins for me anyways, because there's none of this monthly paying. It's just a one-time fee. Place it comes in second with five points. That is $12.71 a month. And that's specifically with my affiliate link which is in the description. If you don't use my affiliate link, it's absolutely fine. And it comes in at around $15 a month. Canva comes in at third place number with four points. Um, and that is $12.95 a month for five users as well. So if you can find some friends, you can split it quite well. And coming in at fourth place is Vexels with three points. That is $22 a month. Photoshop gets one point and that's $20.99 a month. And Illustrator also one point because that's also $20.99. You can purchase a Photoshop or Lightroom bundle, just by the way, for $9.99, um, which is a lot cheaper than if you purchase them separately. Even if you don't ever use Lightroom, it just makes it a lot cheaper. But nonetheless, these are all the prices and you can see how the points have been divvied out, I should say. Part two is ease of use. And this is probably one of the most important factors for print on demand, because not everyone is an expert. So you want to find that tool that you can easily use. So for some people, you know, using Photoshop, you've got to learn years and years on becoming a Photoshop expert to figure out all the nitty bitty details on how to use the tool. And not everyone wants that. So ease of use is a very, very big category. Coming in at number one is Canva with six points. And that's just because it is the most user friendly platform on the planet. It's so easy to use. Coming in with five points, number two spot is Vexels. This is very, very close to Canva. It's very easy to use. The t-shirt maker is so, I mean, you maybe would have seen my video that I did yesterday where I go through, or sorry, two days ago where I actually create a t-shirt. And it's just very straightforward, very user-friendly. Coming in at third place with four points, I know these numbers sound confusing, but that's why I've put it up on the screen for you, is Place It and Three points is Affinity Designer. Illustrator is two points, and the hardest program to use for most people is Photoshop. Now, again, for me, obviously, I find Photoshop one of the easiest to use, but this video, I want it to relate to as many people as possible. This is more of a generic print-on-demand t-shirt creation tool. Which one is the best? Now, interestingly enough, ease of use also kind of means lack of features, which is why Photoshop is all the way at the bottom. It has so many features, which makes it so hard to figure it all out, which is why it's at the bottom of ease of use, but it's actually really powerful. And we're gonna get to that in the power category. Um, so when I say ease of use, also what I'm saying is, you know, lack of features. It doesn't have the most amount of features. What we're trying to find is a sweet spot between a really easy tool that has just the right amount of features. Part three is stock imagery. Which tool offers the most amount of stock imagery that you can use in your designs? So starting with number one, right, is Vexels. They get six points here, and that is because they have over 70,000 different stock images, and you can use them all if you have a merch license, which is the $22 a month, right? And a lot of people are saying, you know, if you cancel your merch license, you can't then use these, um, this, this imagery anymore. And I, I do see that, and that is a very annoying point. However, in my mind, if, if I'm making sales from my 
print on demand business with my Vexel designs, why would I want to cancel my Vexel account? Again, if anyone is confused about this, just let me know in the comments down below and we can talk about it. Um, but Vexels comes in at number one just because every single image is made in-house and you can use it. Second place here is going to be Place It. And I know you're probably thinking this is weird because Canva should be somewhere near the top. The reason why I put Place It at second place is I know they don't have the largest stock footage library. However, we all know exactly what we can and can't use. And we know if we have a Place It subscription, we can use anything that they have in their stock library. Whereas the annoying thing with Canva is, and the reason why Canva is, takes the third place with only four points, is just because they have a lot of stock, but we have no idea what they can use. Their commercial rights information is so difficult to understand. And a lot of people say you can only use their free stock images, which actually isn't that much, which is very annoying. And then the last three all have zero points. They all draw, which is Illustrator, Photoshop, and Affinity Designer. And that's because they don't really offer any stock footage. Part four is power. And this basically means which tool offers the most amount of power and features and basically which tool allows you to do the most amount of stuff with it, right? So this is a big category because depending on how intricate you want your designs to be, if you just want to go for text-based designs and then Fine, you can use anything. But if you want to go for some crazy intricate graphic design, you might need to use a more powerful tool. So with this one, coming in at number one is Photoshop. I personally believe Photoshop is the most powerful tool um, for graphic design. They get six points. The next one is Affinity Designer, which is very similar to Photoshop, except it's just a much cheaper option. Um, it doesn't have all the different uh, features, but it's got a lot of features. The next one is Illustrator. Illustrator is brilliant for graphic designers. It's just amazing. Again, because these tools have so many more features, it's more complicated as well. The next one is Vexels. Vexels get three points. And the reason I say Vexels is next is because the Vexels T-shirt maker, which you've again seen me use, it's quite powerful. I mean, there's a lot you can do. You can you can have the, the arches, you can have the text in text, you can have the, you can have so much stuff. And I just find it's, it's quite a powerful tool. I mean, there's, there's not that many features, but it's quite a lot of features, which is quite cool. And then coming in with two points is Canva, because again, you can, you can kind of do certain things and layer things and change the colors and do those kind of things. And that's why it comes in with two points. And the last one is Place It, because with Place It, I find it really hard to manipulate designs in any shape or form. I, it's just, I find it quite hard. I mostly use Place It, by the way, for mock-ups and also browsing ideas, getting ideas, but Place It for me is more of a mock-up website. So if we tally up all the points, who wins? Well, let's have a look. Coming in at joint first place is a Vexels and Canva with 17 points. Coming in at third place, or I guess second place, is Place It with 14 points, and Affinity Designer, joint second place, also 14 points. And then coming in at, I guess, third place is Photoshop with eight points, and fourth place is Illustrator with seven points. This is super interesting because if I didn't chart it like this and give points out like this, I would never have assumed Canva and Vexels would make it to the number one spot because in my mind, I just immediately jumped to Photoshop. It's just interesting to see the numbers don't lie, right? Well, obviously, I mean, these numbers are my opinions, but I think these numbers are quite accurate to actually how these tools work. If you're watching between the 26th of November or the 1st of December, this category applies to you. This is the Black Friday discount category. And again, look, if you're watching after Black Friday is over, then just skip, you know, wherever to the next bit of this video. And uh, and yeah, and in this category, I wanted to make it because it changes a lot of things really. And that's because the prices of all of these tools have changed. The points here is Affinity Designer gets six points again because their discount is just very generous. They discounted from 49 pounds to 33 pounds. So that's around $45. I think that's a pretty good discount for a one-time fee. I, I bought it by the way, at this discount. I thought it was a great discount. Then coming in at five points is Place It, which they've done, I think, a 50% discount. Their tool is now $44.84 um, for the year, which is really, really cool because that makes it around $3.73 a month, which is a ridiculous, ridiculous price. And then coming in with four points is Vexels, and that's because they've done pretty much a half price discount on their tool. It went from $22 to $13, saving around $9. And at $13 for what Vexels is, it's just, that is brilliant. And then Canva, Photoshop, and Illustrator all get one point because there are no discounts. Um, Canva is still $12.95. Photoshop, 
and Illustrator don't have a discount unless you pay for their entire suite, which is still $40 a month, which is quite a lot. So to tally up the winners, if we're including the Black Friday, number one is Vexels because of everything else and its price. It's, the fact that its price went down to $13, my gosh, that is so good. It is so, so good. And I know this whole issue, you know, with the, if you cancel, can you still use the stuff? Don't worry about it. Honestly, don't worry about it. I don't see it being such a big deal because if you're not making money from it, then who cares? And if you are making money from it, then why bother canceling? Just continue making money with it. So yeah, Vexels being number one and Place It being number two and Canva got dropped down quite a lot because of its lack of Black Friday discount, which is a shame Canva, big, big shame. I use all of these tools pretty much now on a daily basis and I only like talking about tools on my YouTube channel that I actually use and that I actually like. I don't want to talk about a tool just to, you know, get some affiliate commission. I only want to tell you about a tool if I genuinely think it's good and that's why I thought this video would be so smart because it's a a breakdown of what tool I think is the best. And it's not a biased comparison, it's as genuine as it gets because if this was biased, then Photoshop would have won hands down. But I wanted to make this as um, unbiased as possible so that it could relate to as many different people as possible. So if you think any of these tools are for you or the overall winner being Vexels is for you, then check out the description, the links are all there. Not all of them are affiliate links, only some of them are affiliate links, some of them, whatever, I just not bothered. Um, but the links to all of them nonetheless are there for you so you can quickly go and grab them if you want. And if you already have any of these tools or you use any of these tools, let me know in the comments down below, which is your favorite t-shirt designer tool? And of course, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it means the world to me. Just, you know, you guys watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, it is the reason why I, I'm just so positive about this YouTube channel. I'm, I'm so into making these videos. So again, thank you so, so much. And, and don't forget to let me know in the comments, which is your favorite t-shirt maker tool? I'm so interested to find out what you like the best.